for a team engagement. Um, typically, there are not many people in the organisation um, who would be aware that a red team engagement is going on. Um, so kind of security responders, incident responders wouldn't know that a, a penetration test is happening. Um, so we're kind of attacking the organisation remotely, um, obviously legally with a kind of contract signed and everything. Um, and we're trying to execute malware on target systems. Uh, the problem is a lot of organisations deploy sandboxes which will run that code in a kind of isolated environment to see what it does, whether it's suspicious. If it is suspicious, um, it means that uh, we can get detected, um, which could put quite an early end to our engagement um, or to that particular part of our engagement. Um, and our domains that we use to send emails to kind of get connections back from our malware then get blacklisted, um, which means we have to kind of register them again, which uh, costs us kind of time and resources. With a, a red team engagement, particularly when the kind of target organisation um, isn't or, you know, most people in that target organisation aren't aware we're doing it, it's critical that it's as realistic as possible. The tool that we developed in-house has got a variety of checks to try and detect sandboxes. There are kind of two options, so one is that the malware just tries to, and that's our custom malware that we use on red team engagements, tries to detect whether it's running in a sandbox, and if it is, it just exits um, and doesn't do anything else, um, so we can then take a different approach. And the other kind of thing we've been looking at is um, bypassing sandboxes, so how to kind of escape out of that isolated environment. Early testing has been really successful. Um, so it's been tested against six products, a variety of antivirus um, emulators and sandboxes, and it's been able to successfully detect all of them. Um, on the bypass side of it, um, it hasn't gone through as much testing yet, but the two or three products we have tested it against have been successful. We kind of very clearly agree with the client, the kind of terms of the engagement, um, which they will kind of sign. Um, it will involve um, uh, exactly what we're going to do, when we're going to do it, how we're going to do it. Um, and that will all be agreed before the testing starts. So the tool at the moment is predominantly based around just checking for the presence of sandboxes. Um, but we have started looking at kind of vendor specific implementations. And if any vulnerabilities were to be found in those, then that's something that we'd kind of responsibly disclose to the vendor. Commonly we see that organisations have got a very hard external perimeter um, but the security is not so great on the interior. Um, so by bypassing the sandboxes we get to the interior um, and find the vulnerabilities that we wouldn't otherwise have been able to find.